Good evening, everybody. This is Theo. It's September 23rd, 2016, Wednesday. I'm speaking from the Pacific Northwest. Tonight's topic, do we really need any more buildings with uh, symbology on them uh, to signify our beliefs or what have you? For those of you who are religious and go to church, I'm not saying don't go to church, that's not the question, or mosque or temple or wherever, sweat lodge, Wiccan ceremonies, full moon drumming ceremonies. If you're a secular humanist, uh, maybe you go on retreats and um, appreciate nature, something of that, of that sort. That's what I'm speaking to. One of the things that has become very apparent, to me at least, is that not only are our bodies temples, um, they also house our light. And here's a nice little light I have out here. <laughs> I got this at Goodwill. It was like. I don't know, dollar ninety nine. There's a little tea light in there. Some beautiful um, vin vineyard grapes. Uva in the Italian. Anyway, so the light flickers in that. That light's steady, flickering, and then you got brighter lights. Mm -hmm. That's a fake one. Well, it's not fake, but there's that light. You've often heard the saying, the lights that bright light brightest extinguish quickest. <laughs> so, back to the topic. Uh, to all people, I say, whether you realize it or not, we are one, we are human. And what makes us human is all the things that we have been discussing. When one acts inhuman and expects to be one, a human, how do you rectify that? How do you change that? How do you turn... How do you... How can I, can I put it? How do we unpollute? How do we cleanse our bodies? You know, and this could be on a physical level too, because a lot of people have uh, illnesses and, and toxins and whatever. But I'm talking about a, a spiritual cleansing from the top down, uh, just to let light fill your temple, so it doesn't flicker. It maintains itself. And what is the energy source of that light? You know? My concept of it is what I call God. You may call it something different. And that's fine. Um, from A to Z. Uh, you know, everyone is welcome. Like I said, you know, everyone. Uh, we can might call it uh, the full moon Diane ceremony, or whatever, Huntress of the Night. You know, uh, monastic. Mon monastic Catholic Christian in Carthusia, he expresses it in another way. He just stays silent for the rest of his life, praying. Um, now, in the modern world, with kids and jobs and all the other huffle and scuffle we have, we can't do all that. So if you could just take 15 minutes a day, just 15 minutes a day, and do whatever meditation practice, whatever prayer practice you have, and Focus on cleansing your body of um, whatever negativity is in it, including, you know, one's mind, one's spirit, one's soul. And use the strength that you know is in you, and you know has always been in you, and it's there. And you do have help, and it's just for the asking. Um, as a famous man once said, Roy Rogers, 
Never, never had a friend. <laughs> never met a man I didn't like. Sorry, it's getting uh, quotes mixed up there momentarily. So, my goal is to maintain my light, and I do that through my higher power, whom I've mentioned is Christ. Um, and God. Anyway. <laughs> That's really the gist of my message. Treat your body like the temple that it is. Put good things into it, and good things will come to you. Put bad things in it, and it's like anything else. You put um, bad gasoline in your car or with water in it. Your cars are going to run properly. Human beings are the same, from physical to spiritual. Look at the halo on those lights. It's pretty cool, huh? It's not an effect. Anyway. Uh, good evening. I love you all. Love each other. Be kind to each other. And tomorrow, be kind to somebody that you probably wouldn't have been in the past. Even if it's just saying hello. Might make the whole day. Anyway. Good night. Love you. Peace to all of you.